This is me trying to watch Squid Game while reading the subtitles. Hey! Hey, Gillen! Hey! These gangsters really need to work on their ambush oh, skills. See, huh? Poor thing. Oh, oh, why? Why? Oh, why? Sign here. I'm fingers. not a lawyer, but I'm pretty sure the contracts made under duress aren't legally binding. Weren't those guys like two hey, seconds hey, behind you? Okay. Yeah, they would have caught up by now. Sorry. And you mean to tell me she knew he was going to run past her, had money in his left jacket pocket, and was able to bump him, cut a hole in his jacket, and swipe it in one motion? Ain't no way. Let's check the tape. Back and to the left. Back and to the left. Hey, 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 hold on. It'll block your card if you get it wrong again. Again? You already tried it three times. Hold on. Huh? Not work. First of all, I don't think the claw game offers the best return on investment. Has anyone ever won anything on this? <laughs> We'd have more luck playing pickup sticks with our butt cheeks. Excuse me, sir. You need to stop and pick the prize you want first. What does it even mean? Also, there's no such thing as a ringer in this game. There's no way you can beat this rigged game. Oh wait, never mind. Oh, oh. <laughs> and I don't know about South Korea, but grown ass man hugging a random kid in an arcade over here would trigger an Amber Alert. Well, thank you, Ralph. You're such a fine young gentleman. Help! She's touching my special area! Dad, you can be in all of the fights that you want, but don't get hurt too bad. Uh, does she think he's in a Korean fight club or something? You do not talk about Fight Club. <gasps> Dad, you remembered. Yeah, now if those mean girls only you jump rope, you can pop a cap in their asses. That's what I'm talking about. I wish a mother would. Actually, don't tell anyone, but I already shanked Sunin in the playground. Remember, snitches get stitches. <laughs> Hmm? I smell a rat. Uh, say my name. Uh, Heisenberg? You're goddamn right. Hello, sir. Can I talk to you? This better not be about cryptocurrencies. It's not that. Mister? Have you been feeling stressed out? Actually. Very stressed. Have you ever... heard about the Church of Scientology? Play a few rounds of Dokji with me, and each time you win, I'll pay you a hundred thousand won. That, 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 that. Mister, you got yourself a deal. How about you use your body to pay? A what? Oh. To hell, man. So let me get this straight. He gets slapped like seven times for every time he wins 100,000 won. So I guess that means he just got stocked and slapped 580 times? Eh, it's actually a better deal than the claw game. Earlier, you signed away your physical rights. If you're allowed to kill them, why don't you just force them to play? For a multi-million dollar operation. Kind of a janky business card to be honest with you. Holla at your boy. <laughs> Ooh, I'm in a good mood tonight. I just got paid, yo. Check out these fat stacks. <laughs> Where'd you get that money? Have you been pimping again? Come on, dog. You know pimping ain't easy. Sh yeah. Maybe for your punk ass bitch. Ah. You know, I got a lot of clients in the MILFs. And GILFs. <laughs> Here's a down payment. Holla. 
I like big butts and I can't not fly. <laughs> I'm already on OnlyFans, bitch. Wait a minute. What did you do to your face? Yeah. What did you do to your face? How did it heal so fast? 30 minutes ago, you were getting the shit clapped out of you. What is this guy, some kind of mutant? <gasps> is this the Wolverine origin story? The U.S.? That's right. You need to get your daughter to stay here. If she moves to the U.S., you know what'll happen? She'll forget how to speak Korean. Soon, she'll be saying stupid sh** like, she's so extra in mid. And then, soon, she'll be eating Tide Pods and twerking. Okay. Which one of you sons of bitches stole my tuna fish sandwich from the break room? Ooh, yeah. Shake that money maker. Excuse me, sir. What are you counting? A lot of shorties in here. Ooh, that one's thick. With two C's. Ah, uh, you old horn dog. Hey, are you into gilfs? Would you shut your pie hole? I'm starting to lose wood over here. Damn it. I lost it, you son of a bitch. Hey, did you catch those honeys over there? Mmm. Hey, look. Mr. Stiffy's back. Damn. I'm starting to get a semi, too. I know that, too. Hey, you come here. Hold still. You... Oh, that scar on your neck. You're the damn pickpocket. Give me what you So you're telling me he was running for his life and noticed a scar on her neck. And then she happens to also be in the Squid Games? Ain't no way. Little son of get a away, bitch. Hey. hey, he wants to hit me. The thug's trying to hit me up. Uh, hey, somebody get over here. We need help. Everyone knows there's nothing more intimidating than a crew of dudes wearing pink onesies. Cho Sang Woo. Siphons money off from his client's balances. Then invest in your 500. How exactly did they get all this POV footage? In the subway, I don't recall the slapping salesman having a GoPro strapped to his chest. How is it coming? Are we going to finish on schedule? I don't know, Mr. Escher. I've never put six stairways all in one spot, and I've lost like ten of my guys in here. Hey, I need a hammer! I hate this place! I quit! <laughs> hey, Sung Woo! Oh, Sung Woo, my man! Oh, what happened? What the hell are you doing here? Wait, now is the first time you guys are talking? Didn't your childhood friend see you almost get your ass kicked a couple hours ago? And didn't you see your old buddy get publicly ashamed? Hey. Huh? What's that? Over there. Oh. Five minutes later and now you're just noticing the giant robot girl? This game actually doesn't look that hard. You've got five minutes to run half a football field, and then you have like two seconds lead time before you freeze. I mean, how hard is it to sprint and then not freeze in a f***ed up, unbalanced position? Apparently, very hard. Man, these guys really suck at not moving. And by the way, there's a hell of a lot of moving going on. You can't stay there much longer. I think that doll senses when you move around. Wee! This is so much fun. I'm gonna die soon anyway. See you in hell, suckers! Also, I know the old dude is slower, but how do you go from being in the front to finishing all the way in the back? I'd be crapping in my pants too. This is actually the most realistic part of the whole show. Mr. Herman. 
Mr. Herman, you have a telephone call at the front desk. <laughs> oh my god, I'm still alive. Hey, I'm not dead. Let me out of here. What are you doing? Damn it. I guess I'm gonna have to pie me my way out of this motherfucker. Holy crap. That was a bloodbath out there. How do we survive? Yeah, I'm still shaking. Hey, which one you guys sharded out there? Twelve seconds later. So what if we leave? Just as bad out there as it is in here, god damn it. This is just a game. If you just follow the rules, you can leave this place safely with the prize money we promised. Really? Just follow the rules? What about the part where you let other players beat us to death over our hard-boiled egg while you sit there and watch like a bunch of assholes? You think you'll get away with this, huh? The police will come. They'll be here since we all disappeared. And I bet they have everybody's phones tracked here already. It's actually a good point. They let them bring their cell phones with them. And after they gas them, do they hack in all their iPhones and put them in airplane mode? 455 people disappeared at the same time. Now there must be some missing persons reports filed. The police can easily see that all their phones went to the same dock at the same time. And why did the detective searching for his brother just track his phone? Also, they apparently get cell service on the island for some reason, so it would be pretty easy to track everyone. No way would they get away with that! Look at all your hostages! You're doomed if you don't let us go all day! Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? Consent form clause three. If all of the players agree to stop playing. The games are allowed to end. Check out the big brain on Brad. Wow, he must be a genius or something. He remembered one of the three clauses in the contract. He must have studied business at SNU or something. This man here went to SNU for business. He went to SNU for business. Sun Moon Dong's golden child, the genius Cho Sang who went to SNU. You're still the genius who got accepted to SNU business school. Come on. Business at SNU? A total of 255 players were eliminated during the first game. A hundred million won is at stake per player. If you wish to give up on playing, the 25.5 billion won will be sent to the bereaved families of the late players. Quick question. When you give the families the money, how are you going to explain what it's for? Does some dude in a pink onesie mask just drive up in a van and say, Hey, here's a hundred million won for your dead husband because he didn't know how to not freeze in a f up unbalanced position and got schwacked. Bye. It seems we're down to the last vote. How convenient. 201 players left. What if there were 200 and it was a tie? How convenient, isn't it? And I don't understand. I thought the old man created the whole thing. Why is he voting to stop it? You're confused, old man. Can't you see that? If the majority of you wish to participate again, then we will resume the game. So, goodbye for now. So you're telling me there's a chance. Hey driver, can we make a quick stop at Taco Bell? Ah! You know, for a super secret organization, they're kind of sloppy. If you're trying to keep your murder games on the down though, maybe don't toss people out half naked, blindfolded, and tied up on public streets. In my experience, that sort of thing tends to attract attention from the cops. Who are you? The sh is totally sloppy. I'm timing you, moron. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, rub your wrist against my belt buckle. That'll do it. Yeah! Oh, is it working? I can't feel it. Okay, I'm gonna save you, man. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes! Okay. I'm gonna save you, man. Yeah. I'm gonna save you. Yeah. Hey, you gotta untie me. I help untie you, then you're just gonna hassle me for your cash again. Okay, fine. Forget the money, okay? Seriously? Yeah, I swear I'll forget the whole thing. You little, come here, get back here. My money, give it back. Why don't you wait until she cuts your ankles first before you try to grab her? 
Man, this guy has the worst timing ever. And now you're gonna die, you <laughs> Okay, second worst timing ever. This is me checking my phone after getting back from vacation. You've got to realize what a massive deal all this was. So the Squid Games has been going on since the 90s and thousands have gone missing at the same time, but this is the first time anyone's ever reported anyone missing? Give us the killer's description. They all had these masks on the whole time we were there. What about all the security camera footage inside the subway of the slapping recruiter? Then. You know red light, green light? Wait, that's for kids. Is that what they made you play? Yes! So you're telling me 250 people all got shot because they didn't know how not to freeze in a f***ed up, unbalanced position? And then one of the players sharded? Did I get that right? Yes. Actually, the sharding part sounds pretty realistic. The heck are you? Why are you calling me this early with this nonsense? Sir, don't do this! We're sorry, mister. Please. You better go home. Ten seconds later. By the way, did you notice the headlights were on one second, then turned off, then back on again, then off? What's up, James Cameron? You burnt. You better go home. You sure you dialed the right number, huh? The number that you have dialed does not exist. So the cop just dialed the number and the woman answered. How do they disconnect it 30 seconds later? Was he drunk? Some crazy hobo guy. Everything's crazy around here today. You get a grip. Wanna go back in? Get a grip. The dude's just standing there. And what else is crazy? By sheer coincidence. Sung Woo, what you doing here? What a coincidence. I was just about to finish thinking of you. How long has it been since you came by? His rent was due a week ago. Wait, so the head. front man was still living here a week ago? Damn, he must have been on the management fast track program. You'd think he'd have to work his way up from circle, triangle, to square dude. Or maybe he was just paying rent the whole time? He could have Airbnb and beat it for some extra wan. Some crazy hobo guy. Everything's crazy around here today. What a coincidence. You mean the stupid game guy? What you need his name for, Detective Huang? Let me think about it. Sung Hyun. Sung Hyun Dong's where he lives, right? You're right. Sung Hyun. I got a great memory. Sir, stop. Pay what you owe me now. Ah, I'm busy now. We'll talk later. Give me my money back. You shit don't uh. Give me my money. Ah! Oh, damn. That's a shame. I'm sure you already know, but you're going to need to start the process over again. At least 40 million. If you want to get them to the south, then... Ah! Oh, snap! Somebody spit! Uh, damn it. Uh, uh. You pull anything on me. I'll rip your fing throat wide open and that's that. Come on. Do it. Do it. Oh look, the world's best pickpocket again. She was able to cut a hole in his jacket and steal his money without using either one of her hands. Does she really need to even cut holes to pickpocket? Let's check the tape again. Okay, left hand occupied, right hand occupied. Yeah. It's not easy. You got mad skills. Don't be so hard on yourself, you know? You got mad skills. Thank you for calling 1-900-GILF-HUNTER. How you doing tonight, baby? Oh, I'm doing real good. What are you wearing? I'm just cutting up some squid in an old granny apron. Oh, so hot. Want to touch the hiney. Oh no, it looks like your credit card was rejected. No, you can't do this to me. I don't care if your son went to SNU. For business. Business? He must be a genius. And he's not just smart, he's handsome too. He married yet? Well, the man's standards are set pretty high. <laughs> oh no, you didn't. Oh, hell no. Are you Mr. Cho Song Woo's mother? Well, we're the police. So this show has budget for hundreds of actors and elaborate sets, but ran out of money for a decent looking police badge? Looks more like he's ready to go to Comic-Con to get his Boba Fett poster signed. They're starting up again. Gather all the boys and meet us there. We'll beat up those masked shitheads and then we break in and take all the cash. So he thinks his gang can just break into the secret island fortress and steal the prize money? Did he not see the hundreds of guards with submachine guns? 
in the Philippines. How'd you lose so much money at that casino? I guess this guy's never been in a casino before. It's called gambling, dumbass. No shit, Sherlock. Is this really the best place for an ambush on a well-lit highway? And how come there's never any traffic on the show? or any alimony or helped us with anything and now you're asking us to give you money get money from my husband well then could you could you ask him for honey could you give me two million won from my deadbeat ex-husband who steals from his mother and is also a terrible father but somehow on the squid games has an unwavering moral compass and always does the right thing <laughs> honey we're home ah, not this all again this is awkward you needed money Keep showing up. Uh, do you think money solves everything? Uh, isn't that the premise of this whole show and society? I guess this super secret organization isn't worried about a cop driving by and seeing a dude in a gas mask driving a van full of unconscious people in the back. Sloppy. Sloppy. Very sloppy. Sloppy is fine. And how the hell do they even drive at night with that mask on? You know they can't see dick out of that thing. Oh, it's that easy not to get gassed? He just turned it on for a minute and then opened the windows? If all the other people knew the gas was coming, why didn't they all hold their breath? For five minutes. You think you can hold your breath for five minutes? Wow, you can hold your breath a really long time! Juno the detective is just like Jason Bourne. Check out his awesome covert recon skills. He's following the van on a dark deserted road and he's like 20 yards behind him. Why don't you just turn your siren on while you're at it? And it looks like his high beams are on. Now his taillights are blacked out, but headlights are still on. You're going deep cover onto a ferry to infiltrate a secret murder organization, and that's all you text to your boss? How about a little detail so they can follow your trail in case you get killed? Here's Jason Bourne running directly in view of the driver's side mirror. Good thing he can't see dick out of that mask. And now here he is hanging upside down underneath the car somehow. He must do Pilates. You know, I called BS when Robert De Niro did it on Cape Fear, but at least he was strapped in with a belt. Good thing this guard didn't see him sprinting right in front of his eyes. Okay, these masks bug me. No one has ever mentioned this before, but there's no way in hell they can see anything out of those, especially driving at night or looking at a monitor. Oh, this is supposed to be the POV from inside the mask? I don't think so. More like this. Or this. Good luck working on your computer. Doesn't seem too safe driving at night either, especially with a gas mask on top of it. It's the only thing that explains why no one sees him sneaking around. These magic scanners are also ridiculous. How exactly do they work? It's clearly optical and not an RFID reader because of the light emitting from them. What are they reading? I don't see a barcode tattooed to their necks. Here's Jason Bourne fighting this dude with at least three other workers right next to his van. The door's wide open, why didn't he just yell for help? And none of the guards noticed the van moving? He must have had a sign that said, if this van's a rockin', don't come a knockin'. You bother to tuck in a shirt? Why don't you just give me a Manny Petty massage combo while you're at it? Hmm. Apparently cops in South Korea can get away with a lot more. You can just kill a suspect and dump their bodies. Hey, you. Oh, hey, it's cool, man. I was just dumping a body overboard. No big deal. You do not speak unless your superior allows you to. Go stand by in the cabin. Here's another thing that bugs me. There's no way that not a single worker has exposed this operation. First of all, they treat them like absolute shit and micromanage the hell out of them and kill them for nothing, and there's not a single disgruntled worker who spills the beans to Korean 60 Minutes? Exposing the super secret Hunger Games would be the biggest story in the whole world, and yet there's not been a single whistleblower who blows the lid off this whole thing? We all know that no one can keep their mouth shut about anything. Even the threat of death isn't enough. Look at all the defectors and whistleblowers in North Korea and Russia. Apparently, they don't even keep close tabs on the workers, and no one cares if they disappear. It's a huge problem when the player goes missing, but when it's a soldier, no one cares about that. No big deal. I'll decide if it's no big deal. None of the workers confided to their friends and family about where they were working, and when they disappeared, no one reported them to the police? What about the people who interviewed did get the job? Did they kill them off too? 
And where and how did they even recruit them? Why don't they recruit any women workers? Do they put out a help wanted ad that says seeking males 20 to 50 for challenging positions? Must be good team players and comfortable living full time on an island and living in a prison cell that is monitored 24 7 and murdering people by shooting them in the heads for the enjoyment of a bunch of rich dickheads. Must be able to wear many hats and be proficient with submachine guns, driving a van at night full of unconscious people while wearing a sketchy mask that you can't see dick out of, committing mass homicide, disposing of dead bodies, and baking sugar cookies. The ideal candidate has strong customer service skills and is comfortable with getting shot in the forehead for breaking any of our arbitrary rules. Pays minimum wage with no health benefits. Please wake up and prepare for your duties. In 10 minutes, the staff head count will begin. Okay, okay, look, look, look. This is some bullshit, okay? I'm out of here, man. F this job. All right, for the next four weeks, f this job. A lot of people decided to come back. Out of 201, 187 returned. The re-entrance rate is 93%. 93% of the people came back? I don't think so. No way, man. We should just form our own team, don't you think? You're right. It wouldn't hurt to be in a group, so we're ready for anything. One hour later. They were heating sugar. <sighs> Got anything? Not yet. Kind of a dick move. If Sang Woo was such a genius, why was he trying to kill off his teammates during only the second game when they are the only ones who got his back? Well, then I'm choosing the umbrella. Hmm? You sure? Go wait. Huh? <sighs> Nothing. He could not be more suspicious. A few minutes later. Yeah, the whole team made it. <sighs> if they try to attack someone. Let's group together and fight them. Oh, now you believe in strength in numbers? <laughs> don't join him. This guy's a damn dumbass. I don't know about the quality of control at Netflix, but there's a lot of bad translating and transcription on the show. Uh, uh, excuse me? Am I interrupting you? Oh boy. You're really good looking. <laughs> huh. You're really good looking. You're really good luck. Hey, I'm telling you, no one's safe around here with that crazy bitch running around loose. Yeah. Tell me what you're good at. Everything except the things I can't do. I don't know what happened at her first job interview. You're hired, madam. Certainly better than some skinny girl. Now you are, but what am I? You mean you're that good? How about it? Plenty of empty bits. <laughs> This is one of the least subtle shows I've ever watched. They have to spell everything out and hit you over the head with it. Okay, we get it. We're not supposed to like these thugs and crazy women. Do you have to make it so over the top? So after decades of running the Squid Games, you've never had a situation where someone needs to pee at night? I have to go like 10 times a day. Why wouldn't they put some toilets in the barracks instead of having locked access to a single bathroom that looks like it's used by men and women? I gotta go. You're a pretty annoying girl, aren't you? What a rude little brat! I know you are. But what am I? Really? That's what you decide to smuggle inside? And no one smells the smoke? I think you'd be better off smuggling in a vape pen at least. Go to the coast, we'll get together, have a few laughs. It's time to go back. Just give me a second, okay? If you recruited some women, you wouldn't have this problem. Oh, now they're concerned about privacy when they have a bunch of dudes undress and fondle unconscious women? And it's like trying to push out a kid! Oh, I'm dying! Oh. The f*** is this crazy bitch talking about? I think we got a rat in the house. I'm not the fucking rat, okay? Huh? The mask guys had pots that they were melting a liquid down in. What'd it smell like? Sugar or something. Wouldn't she assume they're just cooking their meals? And she can smell sugar? Also, they only need to bake 187 cookies. 
and each one of those vats looks like they can make 500 cookies and there's like eight vats. It's now time for you to go to sleep. Maybe you could write a haiku to express your feelings. The island, abductions, surveillance, and the masks. Girl, look, if you aren't telling me everything, I'll burn your eyes out with cigarettes. I dare ya! Now, please wait in front of your door. Is there a problem? What? I said, do we have a problem? When I was a kid, I had problems digesting it. The chocolate milk? I can't drink the normal kind. As a kid, I'm willing to bet you got spanked a lot. You know. I guess they spank son, kids in South too. Korea for you being lactose like intolerant. Right? Hey, sir. Why aren't you eating that? Have it. I don't eat most mornings. Looks like Sangwoo is on the intermittent fasting keto diet. You know, geniuses never eat much. The show makes a lot of weird generalizations. Geniuses don't eat much, old people don't sleep much. Choose one of the four available shapes you see on the wall. Does he mean those? These shapes seem pretty distinct. Hard to believe a bunch of people didn't figure it out, which would lead everyone lining up behind the triangle shape. I guess only a business major at SNU with insider information can figure it out. And in my hometown, he was a genius, a prodigy. He was first in his class at SNU Business School. Would you please shut up? What about you? Daira. Huh? Daira. A circling mate? Yeah. It looks just like the moon where I'm from. Ali can speak Korean fluently, but never learn how to say circle. And I'm pretty sure it looks like the moon no matter where you're from. You pick first. Go on. Now then, I'm choosing the umbrella. Hmm? You sure? Why? That is suspicious. Oh, the star. Sounds great. Besides, nobody really sees many stars these days. The shape you have chosen is the shape you must remove from the honeycomb. That's when I knew that I had a problem. And I'm totally screwed, right? Yeah, you're screwed. I've never played this honeycomb game, but it doesn't seem like breaking little pieces off the edges with your hands is the way to go instead of using the needle. Hey, do you mind? I am trying to concentrate. Bye. I bet you wish in life you could take a mulligan sometime. Oh really? There's guards all around and a million HD cameras everywhere but no one notices her? Or hears her flicking the lighter? 44, pass. And no one saw any of this either? Oh here's a magic scanner again. Instead of having a number 29 on his back, the scanner somehow identifies him by the shape of his hoodie. Why the hell are you IDing people based on their uniforms and masks? I can lick it. Lick it up, baby. Lick it up. I don't know what the hell that is, but I'll lick it anyway. crazy bitch. <laughs> I did it. Move your hands. Nothing to see here. All right, move on. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here, please. I can't believe this doesn't happen more often. A nice shot sticking a two-inch needle in his eye. Wouldn't he have been shot immediately by the other guards? Take off your mask. This dude is about to get whacked. Turn around, okay? What does he care about taking off his mask? Or is it just to show how ruthless this organization is by whacking the guard for showing his face? I do appreciate his hands-on, leading-by-example management style. The front man is leaning in. Number 29, stand by and await further instructions. I'll have a word with you about that confusion. Here we go again. Guards and cameras everywhere, but no one notices this. That was very sneaky of you. 
Are you kidding me? Sneaky. It's a good thing the designers of this security system enables guards to easily delete footage by double tapping this button. Sirs, you made it! <gasps> I was wrong to suggest separating. How could you know what it was? I see you remain suspicious of me, Detective. It's a smart business move for this secret murder organization to diversify into branded soft drinks. This is all we get? <laughs> hey, I think it would be cool if we started a TikTok challenge. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Well, that's okay. Just don't do it again. Ah! Why would you do that to me? Don't do it again. I won't. Hey! Yeah, you should be sorry. Don't fing do it again. Shut your mouth and grab an egg. I didn't get anything. Where's the rest? Can't You'll you? get nothing and like it. Five meals are missing, sir. It was them. They skipped the line and got seconds. I saw it. Remember, snitches get stitches. Snitches get stitches. <laughs> Who do you think you are? That's my food you just ate. But if you must come at me, come at me, bro. Really? This grande guy is going to take on the gang of thugs? I don't think so. I can't tell if we're supposed to root for these people. I wish they would spell it out for us. I see nothing. No, I didn't think so. You see, Pino, this is a respectable business. And there's nothing wrong with that. He's gone. Uh, hello, guards? Here's Gi Hun again being shocked and outraged as someone died during the evil murder games. What did you think was going to happen? What did you think was happening? Not this! Player 271 eliminated. Game on, everybody. Game on. God, this job sucks. I'm telling you guys, we need to unionize like Amazon workers. Okay, this is the square manager mask that Jun Ho, aka Jason Bourne, stole in the last episode. But where was he hiding it? Did he pull it out of his pocket? When I get it, when I pull it out of the fing air? You can pull it out of wherever you want to. Sure, I just pull it out of my ass, right? You there. Why aren't you doing your job? You talking to me? You talking to me? Are you talking to me? I'm sorry, sir. How may I be of service? Did you forget the rules? You do not speak unless your superior allows you to. I'm gonna have to write you up. Man, I hate this f***ing job. This whole secret organ harvesting operation is so ridiculous, I don't even know where to begin. First of all, for a secret murder organization that tightly controls workers and players with head counts and security cameras and scanners everywhere, they seem to have the worst security protocols ever. Workers, and even players, can somehow sneak away for hours undetected. And apparently the whole plan relies on recruiting a surgeon who is also a player that could be killed at any minute and is live for a maximum of a week, even if he gets to the last game. Even with insider information, the doctor can be killed at any time like during red light, green light, or marbles, or even get shanked in his sleep. And how many operations can he possibly do by sneaking away for a few hours? There's cameras everywhere, but not inside the basement or even at the secret emergency exit scuba site. How do they secretly build a remote control trap door under one of those ovens with all the cameras in the cremation room? What if another worker got there first and was using your special oven? The worker is able to slip away for hours at the end of the shift conveniently because they turn off the lights right at the end of the shift? With all the cameras and head counts, how do the workers slip back inside the rooms undetected? And the doctor disappears for hours and no one notices? And apparently they only use players that are still alive, but wouldn't they suffocate within minutes after nailing the coffins shut? And then they said it was a problem that one of them was still alive, so they had to kill them. So are they supposed to be dead or alive? Also, I don't think you can viably store human organs in saline solution with a couple freezer packs. And since the organization is just burning up bodies anyway, why did they ever think of harvesting organs as a good revenue stream? Apparently, Frontman doesn't even care about it. Someone could have suggested it in a meeting, got promoted as Chief Organ Harvester. The next game, what is it? Instead of slipping him a cryptic message inside his egg, why don't you just explain to him in detail since you're hanging out with him for hours? Worry about that after you've survived the night. Fighting will break out. 
We gave you less food on purpose to make you all fight each other. Go back to the players. Find a way to live. Way to live? Just stay alive! I'm not going to lose you! Thanks for the advice. Steady, my friend. Just stay alive. Yeah, thanks for the advice, dicks. Let me join. Yeah, this looks like a trustworthy team that would have my back and wouldn't bludgeon me to death in my sleep. Tell us, what are you good at? I'm a doctor out there. So? You gonna come give me a shot if I get sick? <laughs> <laughs> One operation later. Outside, I'll be able to treat it at the hospital, okay? Outside? Obviously, they're not both getting out of there alive. This is why everyone says you really should have a doctor in your family. <laughs> Gee, I guess I was wrong. Go sit somewhere in a corner, come lights out. Don't breathe or make a noise. If I hear you breathe, then I'll come for you. You're really good looking. <laughs> You're really good looking. I hope you do come for me, big boy. Snitches get stitches. Snitches get stitches. Do it. So the plan is to have them all fight and kill each other during Lights Out? Doesn't this defeat the whole point of the games? And I thought they are all about equality. How is getting stabbed in your sleep fair play? What if you have bad night vision or an epileptic strobe seizure? I suppose these metal rods came from the disassembled bed frames. But have you ever tried to disassemble an IKEA bed frame without the right tools? It's damn near impossible. Did someone smuggle in an Allen wrench inside their butt? Oh now, look at Ali swinging this metal construction beam around. Did he smuggle that inside his butt? Now I'm wondering what other weapons we're gonna see inside there. Let's go. All of you, stop this. I, I, I'm scared. How did everyone even hear the old man talking from the top bunk with all the screaming? Doesn't seem too safe. He could have easily been knocked down from the top bunk and killed. I really don't think they thought this through very well. When did Jun Ho order an LED light from eBay and install it inside his mask so we can conveniently see his eyes even though it totally makes him stand out as an infiltrator as well as somehow makes him able to see more clearly? Player 456. Is there a man named Huang Yin here? How the f do I know? I have some regrets. Oh, it's not so fun killing when your butt is on the line, huh, Grandpa? Nobody here got hurt, so that's good. And where are you from? Pakistan. Pakistan? Where's that? Are you a moron? North of India. He's right. Of course he is. This man here went to SNU for this. Would you please shut up? Kong Sebyok. Sebyok? That's a pretty name. Though I'm not sure how well it fits. Hey, f off. I will not f off. And what is your name, sir, if you don't mind? My name? Oh, let me think. Hold on. I can't remember anything that happened before two weeks ago. That means we killed 27? Right, old man? Old man? <laughs> gonna call me I swear man. this show is sexist <laughs> and ageist in the weirdest ways. Oh, yeah? Tell me, how old do I look? 49. Ooh! Ouch! Very ouch. Old man, one more chance. Uh, 19. Bingo. Ooh, that's a bingo! <laughs> okay, uh, Toxic Love, a haiku. It's a haiku. An early tweet. It's not a haiku, there's not enough syllables. Morse code? How about tapping in Morse code instead of coughing? I think he's sending a message in Morse code. Hey, old man. Huh? Did you stay up all night? 
Why do you assume he was awake all night just because he's awake now? You don't really need that much sleep when you're old. <sighs> Flashback. Sir, wake up. Wake up, sir. Sorry, but you really can't go to sleep after lights out. Understand? Why? No guardrails on this random stairway? Seems like an untapped opportunity for more casual homicide. I'd like to talk to you both about a good opportunity for you and your loved ones. Please divide yourselves into teams of 10 people. What are you thinking? Our team already has a girl and an older guy. I'm thinking we better get more men first. When it really comes down to it, usually men are better. Come join our then, sir. So... I can't join unless she does too. Oh, I'm sorry. Our team already has too many girls. What about you? Who brought you here? Her. I said to bring only men back here, didn't I? You're a sexist, egotistical, lying, hypocritical bigot. That is a very sexist way to talk about these bitches. I don't get it. Come on, you're just joking. My team's full. I'm sorry. Babe, I swear I'll do better. I I'm good at everything. You know that's true. Just listen, okay? I need you, old man. Can't you see that? Get up! Nonetheless, there is no question that it is well-deserved. All you did was trust the wrong guy. God damn you, scumbag. Hmm. You betrayed me. You're dead now, got that? One day you're gonna get yours. You're gonna get yours. Well, nobody kicked me out, huh? I'll play with you as a special deal here, okay? Yikes. I'll be way more help than either of these wimpy little girls. Plus, I'm good at everything except the things that I can't do. <laughs> we don't want nothing to do with that crazy bitch. <sighs> Today's game is Tug of War. Wow, it's a good thing there were exactly the right number of players in multiples of 10 for Tug of War. Wouldn't their momentum immediately pull the other team down too? You're marking a black casket with blood? I don't think that'll work unless it's some kind of special expanding bold blood font. One hour later. Oh nice. <laughs> oh man, I was looking forward to killing you guys. <laughs> Why not right now? Here's another opportunity to kill players according to the rules of fair play. You had your chance. And you blew it! You had your chance, okay? All you need is a good strategy in tug of war. You'll be able to win when you are against stronger teams. When I was young, we always liked tug of war. And back then, I would always win. Always? If, so the old man is the Michael Jordan of tug of war team. with just one and weird trick? See, that's so impressive. First off, having a good leader is very important. That person is at the front, and the rest of the team focuses on the back of their leader's head. How are the other nine all supposed to see the back of the leader's head unless he's seven foot tall? At the end of the road, you need to have someone strong and dependable, like the anchor of a ship. And ideally, missing a couple fingers. After that, it's all about how you arrange the rest of your team. If one player is on the right side of the rope, then the next one should be on the left, all the way down the rope. Finally, and this is absolutely the most important thing, you should lean back, practically lie down, and throw your head back to the point where you can almost see the groin of the person behind you. Right, and what will happen if I plan to heal in his groin? No one including himself, is leaning all the way back and looking at some rear groin. How are all the people behind him able to hear him? Well, that was only part one. It's a cliffhanger. I 
I know people pointed out that the old man's wrists aren't locked in like the others, but still looks attached enough to pull him down. And wouldn't the other people behind him pull him down with him? Oh Lord, protect me. You think you made it out of there because of God, don't you? God made a decision to help our team win. That's why we're all here. Bullshit. I suppose you know you'll be going to hell? Okay. Guess I'm going to hell. <laughs> You better watch your back. Watch your back on the yard. I hope they do a prequel where they show them going to Home Depot and spend a month installing this secret remote controlled hydraulic trap door and blasting through tons of rock while being constantly monitored 24 7. He's not breathing. Go get that doctor. Yeah, well, he just fell seven stories and then was locked in a coffin with no air. So hurry up and get the doctor and bring him back alive so we can kill him, but if he comes back alive again, we're screwed and then we'll have to kill him. Everybody, three steps up when I signal. <gasps> My god, I can't believe how cool that was. Earlier you were the one who said no. Yeah? You cried and said, but that's the edge, there's no way I'll go. Oh, snap. Oh, about that, Grandma, why did you get This is up? some bizarre writing. First of all, they're about the same <laughs> age. Second, they look to be about in their 30s or 40s, but they make it sound like they're on their deathbed. I can maybe understand if the writer was Gen Z, but he's about the same age. Gentlemen, what we have here is a crazy bitch. Another fight could break out like last night. We should make a plan. What can we do? Our team is the weakest one in here. We should choose a weak team and go after them first. For a resident priest, you sure are bloodthirsty. Oh, snap! We're all sinners, but we're still here, aren't we? Is there a sinner here looking for God? Yes. Daniel, are you a sinner? Yes. Oh, I'm going to hell. What? I'm not going to hell. Nice. <laughs> we can get through all of this easily. You're not worried at all? Those scumbags you got on your side over there? Are they people you trust? Trust any of them, do you? You better watch your back. You better watch your back, because I'm going to ride you. Where'd the doctor go? He just left. He went to the restroom while you were gone. Don't worry, he'll be back in about five hours, which is about how long it takes him to drop a deuce. Okay, so we better swap out who's going to keep watch just to be safe, I think. I can be first watch then. You don't really sleep a lot when you're old. What the hell are you talking about? All staff, please return to your rooms immediately. Okay, even if you slip away in the dark unnoticed, what are you gonna do 10 minutes from now when you all have to return to your room at the same time and they do a head count? Won't they notice that a bunch of rooms are empty since they're monitored 24 seven? Have some of this. I saved this earlier when they gave it to us for supper, so I could give it to you. Uh, okay, but where did you hide it? Don't worry about it. Somewhere safe and warm. Eh, uh, thanks anyway. I'm doing the intermittent fasting keto diet. Please, sir. I insist. Don't worry, it's fine. I hid it inside my cornhole. Watch out for your cornhole, bud. Don't cornhole me, young sass. How did you get it? I needed money. I came for that. Didn't we already establish that they're all there for the money? Why else? What's your reason for being... in here? Did he forget the first day when Sangwoo was the first one to be publicly shamed on the big screen? Why else would I be here? Why are these screens all in English instead of Korean? 29. What happened yesterday? Where were you? Sorry. Sorry? Uh, sorry ain't gonna cut it, bud! Basically, anyone who steals a uniform and mask can bypass all their security protocols. I guess someone could mug the front man and take over the whole operation. <laughs> what the hell kind of way is this to wake someone up during the murder games? Bud, you wanna see my new chainsaw and hockey mask? Oh, sorry. What am I thinking? 
Looked like you were having a nightmare just now. Yes, he looks like he's having a terrible nightmare just before you were reaching for his throat in a choking motion. Heard from the doctor yet? No. This is weird. He's taking too long. No, it's not weird at all. He normally takes half a day to lay some cable and then comes back covered in blood. We're in a hurry. Maybe I should try working on those. I bet I could do it. If you teach me a few tricks. I saw on the news doctors don't always perform surgeries. Sometimes it's the office managers or nurses aide. And some of them are better than the doctors. Who wrote this dialogue? Yes, I heard that you can perform complex surgeries in the dark while wearing masks that you can't see dick out of just by watching some YouTube tutorials. Why are they even wearing masks down there anyway? They're obviously not sticklers for the rules if they're running an organ harvesting side hustle. And apparently they've already all seen each other's faces since number 28 wanted Jun Ho to take off his mask to verify his identity. I'll tell you what went wrong. That thing was still alive when I got here. I nearly pissed myself that night. I thought the thing was dead, but then it shot up like a zombie. Damn it. I knew I shouldn't have had that Chalupa Supreme before I came back in here. Oh no, it's too late. I'm crowning. I've got a turtle head poking out. That zombie looked promising, at least before we saw inside. So what happened to that zombie? Hold on, why do you need to ask? You were there for the whole thing. What the hell? Don't you remember? Why are you guys suspicious? Didn't you already verify his identity with your foolproof hmm. scanners? Number 29. Back then, I was a bit out of it. Oh, that's weird. But he was just out of it. You were out of it. You got rid of the body with your own hands. You have This been... is my operating room, okay? <sighs> Stop chatting and do what I say so I can actually do some work. Whoa, that was close. Just let me How lucky for Jun Ho. Okay? And just like that, they all drop it instead of taking the probable infiltrator outside for more questioning. Just some freezer packs. You guys are transporting human organs, not packing a ham and cheese sando for lunch. Tell me what the game is, or else I'm gonna end up getting killed tonight! No, I'm not going anywhere until I know what it is! <laughs> You can take a hit. Don't touch it. It's a bomb. Why would you need to explain this to him if number 29 has supposedly done this before? And once they're all out, they set that off and blow the entire place. Damn, that tiny bomb will blow the entire place? What kind of space age explosive are they using? The VIPs? Who are they? Stop asking so many f***ing questions. Dude, they're already suspicious of you and you almost got killed for asking dumb questions. They made this passage so the VIPs could escape in an emergency. And is this really the best evacuation plan for the VIPs? No other workers can scuba dive, but somehow all the VIPs are patty, scuba, certified to cave dive in the dark? I don't even think all the VIPs could fit through your secret tunnel. Number 29. Not only are you more curious, but your voice seems to have changed. You guys just noticed that right now? Who are you? How you like me now, huh? How can I trust someone like you, scumbag? Now you see we're all the same here. I don't get it. So now he just trusts him because he sees that they're not aliens or something? Listen, doctor. He didn't see or hear those seven guys come into the room even though he was just facing that direction. Before we operated on her, turns having sex with the girl, okay? Would we have done that to a guy? I don't know. Maybe. Go check the list if you still don't trust me. What list? There's a list of all the players, with all their info as well, even their medical records. Where? Over the ladder, it's a good thing even the lowly workers all know how to easily access the secret files. So I guess the detective is going to detain him now until the authorities... Eh, that's cool too. However, you ruined the most important aspect of this place. 
Equality. Everyone is equal while they play this game. Oh, wait, it turns out we got the front man all wrong. He's just a nice, compassionate guy and wants to create a harmonious, peaceful society. Or not. Look, I hate to play this card, but I'm a doctor. You gonna come give me a shot if I get sick? He's not a doctor. He dropped out. What an odd and convenient layout for him to climb out of the tunnel and into the secret file room where all the doors are unlocked and there aren't even any security cameras. Why don't you just turn the lights on since there aren't any cameras down there? Number 29 is gone too. How do we not see all these missing workers when we have cameras inside their rooms monitoring them around the clock? Someone's not doing their jobs, fellas. What do you do, Janet? Is I want you to do your f***ing job! He's not on the security cameras. Damn it. Why did we design this system to allow employees to easily delete and replace security footage by double tapping a button? Well, you know. If his brother won in 2015, does that mean he was paying rent for the last five years but then suddenly decided to stop paying now? And his landlord never mentioned that she hasn't seen him in five years? You know. That's my brother. He live here. Of course I peed my pants. Everybody my age pees their pants. It's the coolest. If peeing your pants is cool, consider me Miles Davis. Players, what you witnessed before you is what remains of those who broke the rules for their own benefit. They tainted the pure and fair ideology everything here has been built upon. Ah, here's another speech about their pure and fair ideology. You know, for an organization that's all about fairness and equality, you sure pull a lot of intentionally misleading and sketchy shit, like forcing people to sign contracts and tricking them into relinquishing their physical rights, and then hiring a ringer to play dachi with them to reel them into your island without realizing that they're gambling with their lives, where half them are killed during red light, green light, when you explain that players who move are eliminated. What? Why are you surprised we're shooting? We clearly said eliminated. And then later, you guys allow other players to gang up and kill other players in between the actual games, and even go so far as to intentionally engineer mass homicide at lights out. You know, I can't think of a more equal and fair way to run your games than encouraging players to shank each other while they sleep in the dark. What an incredible and fair game of skill and cunning. And soon, you're about to pull some more bait and switch reverse uno bullshit by tricking players to buddy up in teams of two partners that you wish to play with, implying that they're on the same team, instead of choosing an opponent that you wish to play against. You ain't got no alibi, you're busted. No one else has mentioned this before, but why does a front man need to rely on this landline to manage his operations instead of using a secure walkie-talkie or cell phone? This secret island obviously has cell service somehow. He doesn't even have any answering machine in there. People are calling him with important shit all the time and have to hope that he's just chilling in his crib. Oh wait, maybe it's all part of his clever plan to catch any intruders who hang up the receiver the wrong way which would lead him to search most of the premises instead of simply installing locks and cameras all around the secret chambers and file room. Hello? Hey Jun Ho. It's 2021, man. I really prefer if you just text me instead of calling. So rude. What's wrong? Are you sad? Why? Is your connection dead? You're burnt and you're busted! Oh, it is a little slut, isn't it? Cause she's being a little slut about it. Bobby! For this game, you will be playing in teams of two. When two people agree to play together, shake hands to show you have become partners. Let's do this, huh? 
Uh, no thanks. I'm really looking for someone who's good at everything except the things she can't do. Yeah, she has these like crazy eyes. I know how to con just about anybody I see. I'm not a genius, but I still got it where it counts. Hmm? Well, you sure can talk the talk, you crazy little slut. Hey, let me play with you. Then I'll be your dream girl all night long. Hmm? Hmm? Don't make me do crazy eyes. Uh, hold on a second. Why? You want a girl? Yes, I do. Sangwoo, let's not lay. Let's join forces. It's a little bit awkward. This is a little awkward. Sir, you should go put this on. Just in case people hear, or they might look down on you for missing it. Ah, uh, yes. Good thinking, Ilnam. During the murder games, most people are highly conscious of maintaining the proper dress attire at all times, otherwise they get kind of judgy. Don't worry, I'm just gonna sit over here by myself. I just hope I don't become a meme. Hey, wanna do this? Hmm, I wonder how she's gonna answer. Wait, what are you doing? You gotta untie me! Yeah, why is that? I happened to overhear your discussion last night. So tell me, what did you see? Why would I? It looked like you and that thug really had it out for each other. So what? Tonight, if anything happens, we'll all meet in my bed right there. Are you in? I don't trust people. What's your name, huh? What do you care about that? So I can use your name, duh. It doesn't matter. Listen, okay? Just leave me alone. Wanna do this? Why should I? I'll make sure that you win. What will you do? Whatever it takes. That's called foreshadowing. You guys, you're all making a big mistake. Do you really think you can win without me on your team? Hey, come on. Shh. Hey, come on. Be my partner. Leave with you. Why, why can't this crazy b get it through her head? What's going on here? You can't do this. Right? She'll be back. I'm so sick of that whore. <laughs> It's nice to think she won't be in my way again. She'll be back. In this game, using your set of 10 marbles, you will play the game of your choice with your partner. A player who manages to take all 10 marbles from their partner wins. I can't believe they're letting each group choose their own games instead of a standardized set of games and rules. Otherwise, it leaves a lot of wiggle room for somebody to cheat and claim that they won during this life and death game. Bullseye. I've never played marbles before, but this bullseye game over here looks like it leaves a lot open to interpretation. And you also open it up to all these scenarios where one player who's getting his ass handed to him can suddenly change it all up to an all or nothing game. And to make things worse, these games are supervised by a bunch of dipshit guards with decision making left to their individual discretion. By the way, they seem to be barely paying attention, like that time where Gihun almost got whacked when he still had one marble left. Sometimes they just stand there silent, and at other times they make a life or death ruling on the spot that favors one player over another with no apparent consistency. Very fair and equal if you ask me. Ah, uh, the old fake dementia bit, huh? I can't wait till I get older so I can pull this too. Oh, what? This is the last piece of pizza? What do you mean I just ate six slices? I can't remember I'm old. What, honey? Today's our anniversary? Where am I? Who are you? Who am I? What game are we gonna play? You tell me. These boomers know all these games. We just want to kill some out-of-touch baby boomers. I don't know if this is a bad translation, but there's maybe four baby boomers among the original 456 players, and one of them is the old man. When this show came out in 2021, boomers were between 57 and 75 years old. The writer and director himself was a 50-year-old Gen Xer. Gonna die, you bastard. Wanna kill me? How you gonna do it? Hmm? You can't resort to violence. Actually, they never once said that you can't resort to violence. They just said the player who manages to take all 10 marbles from their partner wins. Since your fair and equal rules allows players to kill each other at any other time, why wouldn't we assume that you can win by shanking your opponent with a sharpened toothbrush? And by the way, I see some violence going on here unpunished. What are we going to do before then? Talk. Things we never told anybody about, I guess. One of us is gonna die here, so no one can really embarrass themselves anymore. I think we're alone now. 
Yeah, but when they're telling each other secrets in private, isn't there a guard standing just off camera listening to their whole conversation? It's hard to say. It seems like some of these teams are barely supervised. You gotta be cheating. sung why would I do that to you? Yeah, why would he? No one has any motivation to cheat or cry foul. The odds should be 50-50. That means you're cheating. If Sung Woo graduated at the top of his business class at SNU, he surely knew that the odds aren't 50-50, especially for a guessing game that's not based on chance. Then what happens? What happens is that person gets to take everything on the ground. Uh -huh. What? Uh -huh. You scared? I'm pretty good at getting things into holes, huh? Hmm. I can really see why this show was nominated for Primetime Emmy for Outstanding Writing for a Drama Series. Do Hawaii. Hold on. Go to the Maldives for a while instead. And have a mojito, too. Go to mojito and have a glass of Maldives. Really? Does she think people in North Korea have cable TV and HBO Max? They're lucky to get a potato once a month. Well, once we're out of here, we'll have a girls' night out and make mojitos and everything, okay? <laughs> oh, we can't both get out of here. Oh, really? You somehow forgot that one of you is going to get shot in the head in about 15 minutes? It slipped my mind completely. I can't die this way, I beg you. You only got this far because I was there. Like when I gave the bus fare to you and... Ah, yes, the bus fare. I forgot. Thanks for reminding me, Song Wu. I guess if I let you win, we'll call it Even Stevens. Odd. <laughs> Look at that. I won again. <laughs> I mean, I'm, you know, I'm just lucky. No. Yeah! <laughs> My, how the tables have turned. I think there are going to be teams out there who can't decide a winner either. Oh no, Ali. Don't fall for the banana in the tailpipe. Sung Woo is trying to use his big SNU business brain to trick you with some BS game theory. The Jedi mind trick. You ever have to see anyone die before this? Once we had this plague go through my town when I was a kid. I'm pretty sure I would have remembered if there was a plague in North Korea that killed off a bunch of people this century. Too bad this show didn't come out a few years later, post-pandemic. Damn. Your stories are a bit too dark even for me. One day I came back from school, and my mom was lying there dead on the floor. And next to her was my so-called dad with a knife. The next body that I saw, that was my dad's. And the person standing there holding the knife? That was me. Excuse me, but did you say my stories are too dark? Your pouch there. Here, I'll make sure that it's safe, okay? Ah uh, yes, your homemade t-shirt pouch is much more safe and secure than me putting them that, into my pocket. It's safer like that, doesn't it? How odd. Earlier his bag sounded like it was full of glass marbles, and now they sound like rocks. Must be some kind of SNU mind trick. Never go in against the SNU grad. When death is on the line! <laughs> We've got three each. Yeah, but, um, what was your guess? Huh? Jedi mind trick, Jedi huh? mind trick. Never thought about what I'd do if I got the money. Go with you to Jeju Island? Sorry. Forgot again. Does this girl have early onset Alzheimer's or something? Look at that. One more right here. <laughs> nice knowing you. Lord, it's a miracle! Really? What are the odds? Damn it! <laughs> really got to work on their safety training. This dude just sprayed a hail of bullets in full auto mode with a couple of his buddies right behind him.
I'm honored that we were partners. <laughs> Take it. It's yours anyway. Gambu always share everything with each other, no matter what. <sighs> well, I guess he's dead, even though the shot was off camera and it was heavily implied through their editing, so we'll have to assume that he was just killed off, just like Glenn in The Walking Dead, because there's no way they would pull some bullshit that on us, right? Right? The intruder? Aha, so you do have a walkie-talkie. So then what's the deal with your 1970s phone? Well, surprise, surprise! Well, look who's back in town. No, no, come on, not the crazy bitch. That's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> Remember, she's a witch and dangerous. Frontman speaking. Give me a minute. I caught an intruder in my chambers with my one weird phone trick, so I'm going to check the premises. But if somebody calls me in my walkie talkie in the file room, I'll assume the room is clear and stop searching. Okay. And hold some of my calls. Yeah. Make sure to call this landline for any important shit instead of my walkie-talkie. Are you in here right now? Why is he announcing all this out loud instead of immediately calling for backup so a bunch of goons with MP5 submachine guns can clear the room instead of doing it yourself? The front man might be leaning in too much. What's a cop doing here without a partner? How do you know he isn't in there with a partner? Apparently none of your security cameras have any footage of him. You've only got a single 40 watt light bulb down there. Are you reading files in the dark or is it just more convenient for Jason Bourne to be able to crouch in the darkness? We found a body, the northern coast of the island. Well, I'm gonna leave now even though it would have only taken another five seconds to clear the basement, but whatever. I'm sure no one's crouching in the dark behind those boxes over there. That was close. I know, right? Gee, I think perhaps somebody ought to teach you some manners, sir. Because on a personal level, I consider you a disgusting pig. What I don't get is, why doesn't he just walk over there and strangle her if he hates her so much? It's already been established that you're allowed to take out other players in between games. This is among some of the saddest potato eating I've ever seen. Oh, look at the magic scanner work with all that beeping. I thought it worked by scanning a person's neck, or their mask, or the back of their hoodies. Wait, it works on faces too? I guess it should verify that the body is one of the workers and not the detective, right? Right? I'm really starting to lose confidence in these scanners. We found this police ID on him. Wait, why does this detective badge look different from the other detectives? This one actually looks legit. Let's just stop all this. I can't keep doing this. Half of us, that's all we need to end this right now. You think your wife will stop being dead if we all go now? And she'll forgive you for letting Man, her get Man, Sangwoo's really coming into his own. This is the type of inspiring leadership I expect well, from an SNU business valedictorian. Look at these jerk-offs. What's the deal with all this security? These VIP masks look worse than the worker masks. Not only can they not see dick out of them, they also look to be about 15 pounds. Well, that's why we came all this way. Trust me, the screens we have at home are plenty big, but nothing beats seeing it with your own eyes. Then why did you wait until the fifth game to come in person? Actually, I think Red Light, Green Light, or Talk of War would be the most exciting, but instead you wait until now and you don't even know what the next games are? Where do they hire all these painted models from? It seems like you want to keep the number of employees at an absolute minimum for your super secret murder games. And it seems like some of them could be easily replaced by an Ikea coffee table. Perhaps a flern. I wonder if they all get paid the same because some of them are working harder than the others. Or is it based on seniority? The veterans can just sit or lie down or stand around fanning or look towards the ceiling with their eyes closed and boobs resting on the couch. While the new recruits have coffee table duty with some fat f***'s disgusting feet on them. Seriously? 
find it hard to believe the host would miss a night like tonight. Obviously, I need to talk about the horrible writing and acting here. These VIPs are absolute dog shit. The Korean actors all seem legit, but where the f*** did they find these assholes? My theory is that a Korean casting director just went to some expat bars in Seoul to find some generic white dudes. They went into the audition and read their lines in English, and the Korean director and casting directors were like, Yep, this one sounds like he speaks English. You're hired. And what's the deal with this god-awful dialogue? Sounds like the director was just like, Hey, you whiteies, just ad-lib some lines in English, and whatever you come up with, I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's listen to some of this masterclass writing and acting. It's uh, such a beautiful number, 69. <laughs> oh, you dirty dog. Now is your chance to catch up. The serious betting starts in this round. I'm doubling my stakes in this round. Just tell us about the next game. How long are you going to string us along like this? He's in a bad mood because of 69. Better tell him quickly. Ooh, this is exciting. Gentlemen, this may be the deciding moment. Piece of <laughs> shit! Oh, it's really not your day, is it? Hey, first 69 and now 96. <laughs> Motherfucker. I don't even know how to describe this dialogue. It's like the opposite of Tarantino. Your shift's over. Why don't you just kill him like everyone else you meet in there since that seems to be standard operating procedure for a Korean PD. Yeah, there's no way in hell you're going to serve drinks in a tray and secretly record video through your sleeve. Is it velcroed in from the inside or something? And what's up with these masks? I think during a production meeting someone was like, Oh crap, we've got to make a new design for the server mask. Come up with something quick. This is a random observation that only people who spend time in Asia can appreciate. But have you ever seen an American beckon someone over with this palm down, come hither gesture? No, because that's the way that they call someone over or hail a taxi in Asian countries like Korea and China. I bet the Korean director coached the actor to call Jun Ho over like he himself would, Korean style. In fact, when he calls Jun Ho over later on, we see him reverting to his natural hand motion. Gentlemen, let me introduce the next game. What's that thing? Looks like a bridge of some sort. I like the looks of it. Just a reminder that this show was nominated for a primetime Emmy for Outstanding Writing for a Drama Series. Hey, what is that thing? Some kind of a bridge of some sort. I wonder if it's a scale or just a smaller model. I don't know, but I like the looks of it. It was on the sixth day that God created the first man on earth. Decision! Have you made your decision for Christ? Is this really the best process for choosing? Just a free-for-all? What if two people want the same number? Another fight to the death? Why not choose by the order of their numbers? Who are you bidding on this time? 96. What's your reason? Well, if I can't do 69... I'll try 96. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with that. How do you know this guy? I didn't break my phone. You brought him. Me, no. Oh, jeez. You killed me. Ha, 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 ha. Good luck with that. Oh, jeez. You killed me. Can you believe somebody hired us as actors? Man, these guys make porn actors look like they're doing Shakespeare in the park. Now, the game will begin. Oh, wow. It's bigger. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's bigger. I thought that you were going to miniaturize them like Ant-Man. So we're supposed to believe that these morons are the smartest and richest people on the planet? What is this? A center for ants? Derek, it's just a... I don't want to hear your excuses! The center has to be at least three times bigger than this. He's absolutely right. The fifth game is glass stepping stones. The tempered glass stepping stones are strong enough to hold the weight of two people. So I guess all the players weigh exactly the same? That means the numbers on us are the order in which you will cross the bridge. 
I changed my mind. Whoa, how did you get those tiny binoculars to get the same zoom as the Hubble telescope? Scumbag. And why exactly are you calling him a scumbag? Sit down. Here. We know you still believe in the big fat creeper. Take your step now or I'll push your ass. Oh god. Oh god, okay, oh god. Then please, try to choose carefully, huh? <laughs> oh, yes, that's it. Keep doing that one after the other. Oh, what a shame. What pretty eyes you have. See the creeper over there? I'm looking at 15. Two to the power of 15. One in 32,768. Well, basically you're fucked, aren't you? <laughs> nice try, though. Excuse me, ma'am. You happen to remember what he chose next? The left one, I think. You, are you sure? <laughs> Not exactly a strong vote of confidence. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's good enough for me. Ah! All right, sorry, my bad. Our Father who art in heaven, don't you pray right now? As it is in heaven. Seriously, get off your knees, Louis. It's our time to face the Lord. <laughs> Thank you. God bless me today. <laughs> see you in hell, powers. Not if I see you first, Tip. Man, this guy really likes to take his time. Wouldn't you be right behind the next person or at least paying attention? Might know which one of these is the stronger glass. It's in the color. Maybe. Maybe not. Anyone want to get across? Well, you better go first then! Ah, shit. This is bullshit. Let's pop this motherfucker right now. You're all mine. Take me somewhere where we can be alone. You're living at the most exciting moment. I'm going off for a different kind of fun. Mm, you're real 69, huh? <laughs> Never do that again. But the rule is we go in order. <laughs> We're in hell here. There's no rules in hell. I guess there are no rules anymore about what a person can do to another person. If you can satisfy me, in five minutes, I'll change your life. That is a real creeper. Are you... Are you satisfied, Glenn? I'm satisfied. You don't think that I'd be able to do something quite as cowardly as waiting here till I die? What are you doing? You're such an idiot. Did you believe I'd really die so you could go on? Now this dude weighs twice as much as her. I don't think she'd be able to pull him down. At the very least, I think he'd be able to break her grip or headbutt or punch her. Man, this guy's the weakest mob boss ever. And how did she know that one was the untempered glass instead of the one able to hold two people? Wow, what a shocker, right? Eh? I can't believe they're dead. I didn't see that coming! You didn't see that coming? Hold on, wait one second. I can tell the panel's apart. I used to make glass for over 30 years. How convenient would that be for you? The VIP has collapsed. Is he alive? He's fine. He collapsed? You didn't mention that he's on the floor naked? And Junho decides to keep this guy alive when he's whacking people left and right? I can't tell which it is. I'll pick, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that was cold. Did what you had to do. Total dick move. Ah, more fair play. After they successfully complete the challenge, you send exploding glass their way. First of all, how exactly did the glass explode? I didn't see any IEDs attached to them. I didn't realize strong tempered glass could be exploded so easily. 
Second, that's a hell of a lot of glass from just 16 small glass panels. One of the dive packs is gone. I suspect the intruder took it. Hey, for something this important, why didn't you call my landline instead? Yeah, this looks like an easy and safe escape method for your billionaire VIPs. Cave diving in the dark and then swimming a mile to another island. It's gonna be a piece of cake, Bryn. Whoa, after using his phone for several days, including taking pics, writing haikus, and recording hours of video, he still has 12% battery? You'll never catch up to Jason Bourne. He's too good at covering his tracks and hiding any trace of his presence, like hiding his scuba gear in a foot of water before going onto the beach instead of leaving in a plain view. Damn it, Junho. How the hell are you still alive after all these rookie mistakes? Okay, that doesn't seem very safe. Junho, it's me, Chief. Where the hell are you? Can you hear me all right, sir? I'm on a deserted island and infiltrated a secret murder organization. What? But how are you getting cell phone service out there, and how do you still have battery after all these days without a charger? I haven't seen or heard from you in days! Just hold on, I'll explain it later. You'll explain it later? How about just a little detail before I send in the cavalry? You couldn't have drafted a long text that explains everything during that whole time you were composing useless notes under the covers? Why'd you do that? I go up and push that guy. Once again, Gi Hung is morally outraged by someone dying during the murder games. I'm gonna have to side with Sangwoo in this one. They barely made it out in time, and the dude was frozen in fear. Plus, he would have survived if the glass was tempered. And also, the guy said himself that he was trying to eliminate the other players, so he could have waited till the last second to finish up, so he'd end up winning the whole thing. You still killed someone. His blood's on your hands. Get it together, huh? During a production meeting, they were like, Hey, we need to show that these last players were injured by the glass. How about a cut on the left cheek on one of them? Hey, why not a cut on the left cheek on all three? Damn, look at the size of that thing. Talk about bad luck. All the other glass shards were tiny, but she got stuck with the one piece that's 50 times bigger. And how exactly did this piece stick her in the stomach if she was facing the other way the entire time, unlike Gi Hung, who was facing the exploding glass like a moron? And why wouldn't you pull it out immediately? Wouldn't it be obviously sticking out of your side? I don't know. It's hard to tell since the camera angles conveniently hide it from view. Why do you assume they all want a steak? What if one of them is vegetarian? Or maybe someone wanted some bibimbap or bulgogi? That's it, Junho. Just hide long enough for the files to send and then wait for help to arrive. They'll never find you. You're a ghost and you can disappear for days. After that, my guess is you'll never hear from him again. You kind of blew it by leaving your scuba gear out there, but at least it's a big mountainous island with lots of vegetation, and it'll take them days to pinpoint your location. As long as you stay out of sight- He's over there! Oh, you stupid son of a bitch. I think maybe you guys should clarify to these two that the last game isn't an eating contest. He makes a crucial tactical error, using chopsticks rather than the fork. I wonder if the guards are like dibs on the barely eaten porterhouse. Police, put down your weapons. You got that? Come and turn yourself in. You'll get a plea bargain with that. Enough, we give up! And besides, you barely get any signal around here. I don't know what you tried to send. How do you know that he tried to send something? He could have explained everything in detail to his chief over the phone or sent him a detailed text that he prepared in advance. That gun of yours holds five bullets, but per police regulation, one chamber must remain empty, and one must be filled with a blank. That leaves three live rounds. This is mind-blowing if true. Man. South Korean police carry around a five-shooter revolver, and one chamber must be empty, and another one a blank, so they only have three rounds? Man, all the American criminals watching this are thinking, note to self, book a flight to South Korea for our next crime spree and take over the entire country. Which means that there's only one bullet left in your gun. One bullet left? What, they're not allowed to even bring any extra ammo? Man, I thought we were soft on crime. So many questions here. I don't understand why he shoots him here. First of all, that's your last bullet. Secondly, you could have waited until he got closer to shoot him in the heart if you really wanted to kill him.
I gotta say, I thought he'd be a little more surprised. I'm telling mom. Also, why does his brother Inho decide to shoot him here? There's no reason. Junho is out of bullets and trapped. You don't want to take him alive, but decide to off him? Is it because he now knows you're the front man? If so, then why did you take off your mask? Or did you intentionally shoot him in the shoulder so that he'd fall off the cliff and into the water so that he survive? If so, that's a pretty risky plan since he could easily have fallen onto some rocks down below or bleed out or drown. In a nutshell, I hate my brother. Also, based on the angle that he fell, I really doubt that he'd fall that far offshore. Well, I guess he's definitely a goner since he was shot in the shoulder and fell in the water and there's no way he's going to pop up in season two. Make this easy. And why is his voice normal now? Have the Korean police ever been quick to act? Is it one of those Batman masks that somehow takes your voice down five octaves? Where were the other drugs going? I never knew that... Wait, what? Do that again. Where were the other drugs going? You know what? That's not bad. I just lost my voice. How does leaving them with knives and encouraging them to shank each other in their sleep more exciting than waiting one day to see them face off in the arena for a spectacular display of Mortal Kombat? It's alright. I didn't come here to kill you. Oh really? Then why you gotta creep up so close like that while I'm passing in and out of consciousness and stand right over me with a knife in your hand? It's not like you don't know how that feels. You're not holding up too well, huh? Then how come you barely touched your food earlier? Because I wanted some bibimbap. We should stick together. We can beat him. Share all that prize money, just run away. Actually, I'm not really sure about this, but is it even possible for them to share the prize money? It's not really clear. I don't think they ever said it's a one winner take all contest. All they said that if you follow the rules, you could leave there safely with the prize money, which by the way, we know is complete horseshit. But what if the three of them decide that they want to split it? Or even if the two of them ganged up and killed Songwoo, would they let them end it with two winners? It doesn't seem like they'd allow that since they set up the last game as a winner-take-all knife fight. But what if the remaining players refuse to fight each other? Do they split the money, or does no one get the money? And where is your brother staying now? An orphanage. I think you and I should make a deal. I need you to swear that you'll look after him. So you're not going to tell him your brother's name or even the name of the orphanage? Don't do it. That isn't you. You're a good person at heart. Oh, this makes perfect sense. The pickpocket, who kept saying that she was only in it for herself and will do whatever it takes to win, is mortally wounded, and now she's suddenly on her moral high horse and talks ski hun out of taking out their last obstacle right after he offered to split half the money with her? Say Biak, please. Hey, what's wrong? What happened? When? When did you get hurt? I'll go get someone. Okay? Oh yes. Good idea, ki Go get help. They've always been so responsive when someone in there has been injured because they're so committed to the safety and well-being of all the players. Could he not see this coming? He could have yelled at the cameras instead of leaving her unprotected. Not that they were going to do anything. Uh, why are you turning your back on Sangwoo, who's standing there with a knife in his hand? We've clearly established that homicide is allowed at any time, like, for example, 30 seconds ago. If he's such an SNU genius, why didn't he just end it right there and then by stabbing him in the back? In fact, ki could have ended it right there by shanking Sangwoo in the back. And why are they stopping them from fighting now? They put them in a room together overnight with knives and allow Sangwoo to take out Sebyok, but now they're deciding no violence? I really wish they'd post an official rule book on their website or something. You know why? I feel like I ought to feel guilty. Yeah, you should feel guilty. Because you killed him. That's right, I did. I killed him. Welcome to the final game. How exactly does this final squid game work if there's more than two players? What if Sabiok was still alive? What if a bunch of people made it to the last game? What if none of them made it past the glass bridge? It just seems lucky that it works out that the last two players were childhood friends who now hate each other. So any kind of violence is allowed? Sure, there are no restrictions. No restrictions? So kids all over South Korea were punching each other in the faces, choking, poking eyes, kneeing groins, and shanking with sharpened toothbrushes. 
did the kids also shank each other with steak knives too? Why didn't they call it prison yard death game instead? Why is he hopping on one foot? It seems like it'd be a lot more enjoyable for the VIPs if you explain all this to them beforehand instead of during the game. How the hell are they supposed to place bets when they don't even know anything about the games until they start playing? Or is it just more convenient for us to hear you narrate the rules of the game in real time? Do you remember what we used to call it? Shut up, who cares about all that? <laughs> Fell for the oldest trick in the book. Yes, and you genius should have played more squid games as a kid instead of all that fancy book learning. Oh, now it's the first time we hear you break out the Mandarin? Now that I think about it, how come there aren't any Korean VIPs, or VIPs from any other non-English speaking countries for that matter? What's it mean? Good rain knows the best time to fall. Yes, the rain machine in the studio knows the best time to start as described by the script to make the fight scene more dramatic. You're the reason that I had to kill her. I knew you two would. Stop all this so she didn't die in there. Again, Sangwoo's making a lot of sense here. Those two would have ended it. Actually, I'm kind of surprised that Sebyeok didn't try to convince Gi Hung to vote to stop so she could get some medical attention. Or she should have let Gi Hung end it by taking out Sangwoo and see if they can split the cash. If not, then they at least both walk away alive. Was that it? You killed someone because this might end? Yeah! And why is Gi Hung once again surprised and outraged? I thought we were all clear in the fact that they were all there for a life or death game to win a pig load of cash. She's the one who stopped me, because I was going to kill you with this. Wait, now you decide to pull out your knife? Not when Sangwoo was two feet away and ready to shank you? I guess you were pretty confident about your one weird sand in the eyes trick. <laughs> of all the moronic squid game decisions, this might be the worst. Gihun could have had an overwhelming advantage simply by picking up and attacking with two knives instead of kicking it away. To where? Some place so far that Sangwoo will never ever be able to get to it again? Except for a couple minutes later to dramatically turn the tables on you. The second most moronic decision is Sangwoo not immediately running to retrieve his knife instead of relying on some Jason Bourne suit jacket fighting tactics. Whoa, this guy's actually pretty good with that jacket. Yeah, Sangwoo, instead of trying to stab him, see if you can take him out by slapping him with your jacket. I think that's an old Krav Maga move. I know it looks more dramatic to fight in this huge arena, but wouldn't the VIPs enjoy the climax of this final Squid Game more if they were a little closer to the action instead of 200 yards away? Might as well watch it on TV. Man, he's really committed to this suit jacket offense instead of picking up one of the knives on the ground. Oh, there's one right next to you. You killed them all? What the hell are you talking about? Classic case of projection of guilt. Okay, he took out Ali and the guy in the glass bridge and Sabiok, but that's it. Not unless you count the tug of war opponents, which by the way, you had something to do with. And didn't you yourself try to Jedi mind trick Ilnam during marbles and had him taken out too? Ah, uh, of course we can't have our protagonist killing anyone during the murder games because he's a good guy after all. I want to end here. Player 456 wants to stop the game. He's giving up the prize money right, right here at the very edge of victory. What? Giving up the prize money at the edge of victory? Can you Let's believe go. that someone would be so dumb as to Let's spare the life of their childhood friend instead of winning some money? Does he know that all that money will just make him bored, just like it made us, and that the only joy he'll find in life is to bet on secret murder games like us? What an idiot. Obviously, they haven't been reviewing their player profiles, otherwise they know that Gi Hung is a hero who's morally upstanding and always does the right thing no matter what, except when he's being a terrible son, husband, and father. Yeah, I'm sorry. Plot twist. Sang Woo turns out to be the hero after all. Why do you do it? You bet on horses. It's the same here, but we bet on humans. Yeah, but we don't blow the horses' brains out with a revolver or make them fight to the death. They just go back to the barn and chill and eat some hay. But whatever. Same, same. But different. It was a dream, just think of it that way. And it really wasn't a bad one for you either. Not bad for me. I'm forever traumatized by almost getting killed several times and watching hundreds of people getting murdered, including my childhood friend who just offed himself for me before he stabbed me in the torso, leg, and hand. Who are you? That was quite the game there. Of course, sir, but why not do it yourself? Who are you? 
I'm the only one in this limo with a mask that drops my voice five octaves and also doubles as a gas mask. That's who. And by the way, how come nothing ever happened with his detective brother who told his chief to send in the cavalry for a big bust and send him pics of the secret files and tape confession from the VIP detailing the whole operation? Even if the files didn't go through, wouldn't his chief at least trace his last cell phone location to the secret island? They could have also talked to those idiot cops who would have explained that he was last seen tracking down some leads and looking for Gihan at his house because he came in the police station and detailed a murder game operation on a secret island with dudes in masks. But a year later, no one ever followed up on that obvious lead. The police just dropped the whole thing. This didn't become the biggest story in the country with media outlets reporting tearful testimony from thousands of family members who also reported their loved ones disappearing at the same time under the same suspicious circumstances. Really, you're just going to kick out a blindfolded man from your limo onto a crowded street? And no one bothered calling the cops who would have easily found CCTV footage and the license plate of your limo? Speaking of CCTV cameras, did you know that Seoul has a ridiculous number of security cameras everywhere? They installed a ton of them all over the city after the mid-2000s when Seoul was gripped by their first big serial killer. Check it out on Netflix. Even for this class of Squid Game players, surely some of the other 455 players had family members that reported them missing, and the cops could have easily tracked their movements by cell phone and CCTV footage and tracked all the vans to the dock, which would have easily led them to the secret island. One last f*** you from the Squid Games. They dump him on the street with a debit card inside his mouth. What if he spit it out while unconscious and someone took it? And you don't even tell him the PIN number? If he gets wrong three times, then what? I don't think he can call their customer service hotline. Okay, so he only takes out 10,000 won, about seven US dollars, but the government doesn't see any red flags that suddenly a broke guy has the equivalent of $34 million in his account. Doesn't he have to pay taxes on it? Hey, Ma, I'm home. Mom, I'm home. Oh no, no one could have ever seen this coming. You know, you could have saved our life by taking the money that your ex-wife's husband offered you, but no, you were too prideful for that. That's pride. F***ing what you f Pride. But Why am I here? What's wrong? And you haven't made that much effort to contact us since. The bank manager couldn't have explained this all over the phone? And why is he supposed to make any effort to contact the bank? Not exactly a customer-centric service, if you ask me. So they call him to come into the office just so they can upsell him on their investment services? That's a good way to lose your high-asset clients. Would you buy some flowers? I thought Ki Hung would be a little more surprised to see that the old guy who he thought was dead because of him is actually alive and responsible for the Squid Games. Man, I guess it's hard to surprise anyone in the Squid Games. You see him? That man down there? He must be drunk because he's been sitting there for hours. He looks homeless too. If he looks homeless, wouldn't it make sense that he's been sitting out there for hours? And why do you assume that he must be drunk? He's going to freeze to death if he stays out there any longer. He's gonna freeze to death soon? He's got on some heavy coats and meanwhile Gi Hung was outside for hours with only a thin jacket. It's probably barely below freezing. If he remains out there until midnight, I win. If anyone goes to help the drunk before then, in that case, you win. That's actually a terrible bet for Gi Hung to take. The Vegas odds would be something like 50,000 to 1 that someone in the next 25 minutes would see him and say, Oh my god, there's a homeless man laying out there, which I've never seen before in Seoul, which has a population of 10 million people. I better run and report this to the authorities. Why did I get to leave and no one else? What do you mean? It's because you won the game. Duh. I earn a living lending out money. That reminds me, I thought Gi Hung owed a lot of money to those loan sharks who were after him nonstop. If he didn't touch any of the money in the account, then how come they didn't come after him this past year and pull out his teeth? Why does this guy, that we later find out is a good Samaritan, totally act like he's checking his pockets and stealing from him? Another classic squid game bait and switch. And everyone knows the best people to rob are homeless people because they always carry fat stacks of cash. That cash is your reward for your hard work and luck. Actually, I'd say mostly luck and help from others. He was saved by Sangwoo and Ali during Red Light, Green Light. 
and they made it through tug of war only because of Sangwoo and the old man himself. And he would have lost marbles if Ilnam didn't just give him all his marbles. During the glass bridge game, once again his old pal Sangwoo saved him with a second of spare. The same Sangwoo who sacrificed himself during the final knife fight so that he could win all the cash. I mean, Gi Hung wouldn't have even won the claw game if it wasn't for that little kid. Okay, well, he did help some people out during the honeycomb game, but that's it. Why did you do something like this? If you have too much money, then it all gets boring. This is ridiculous. You did it all out of boredom? You guys couldn't think of anything better to do with your money? Luxury travel around the world on a yacht? Starting up some charities and foundations? Buying up Twitter and launching yourself into space in a penis-shaped rocket? Your only remedy to boredom is a secret murder games island? All of my clients started to eventually say the exact same things whenever we talk. And all of your clients went along with this plan? None of them was like, whoa, that's f***ed up, y'all. I'm telling. Who are you? I earn a living lending out money. I want to hear more about your loan sharking business where you lend out money to billionaires who are in desperate need of cash and none of your clients are Korean, but 90% are English speaking. I want to know why you joined us. I wanted to just feel something just one last time before I die. Did playing do that then? Earlier. Hell yeah. Is he a boomer or a zoomer? Probably a Gen Z translator. Hell to the yeah, motherfucker. Yellow biatch. How exactly did this conversation go down? The guy runs to the police station. Hurry, I need help. What happened? There's a homeless guy sleeping in the street. What? Quick, get in my car. I'll turn on the sirens to clear the traffic. I've never heard that happening before. Let's rush over there and help him so Gihun can win an extremely unlikely bet before midnight, which is the exact time that the old man will also expire. And our guests. Greet them for me, alright? Of course, sir, but why not do it yourself? Because I know that I'm not going to have as much fun watching as playing. Because you won't have as much fun watching? This is all about you? So much for VIP client service. And also, this is the first time that you played. Are you saying that you ran these murder games for decades and barely had any fun? Have you considered trying out stand-up paddleboarding? Uh, what you getting done today? Did you want a shorter cut? So he just randomly chose a haircut based on whatever pics he happened to see up there? Lucky for him, she didn't have some worse choices up there. You must be Cho. How did he know the kid's name? His sister never told him his name or even the name of the orphanage. Kong is the sixth most common last name in South Korea with over a million Kongs. And the orphanage just let you take him? A random guy with crazy red hair shows up and says, Uh, yeah, I knew a sister. Can you prove it? Do you have a photo of you two together? No. Trust me, bro. Cool. He's all yours. And why did you wait a whole year to find him? He was in there a year without hearing a word from his sister, whose family you promised to take care of, by the way. Meanwhile, the kid's mom is still stuck in North Korea, and you totally forgot to get her out, but instead drop her off to Sangwoo's elderly mom, who suddenly has responsibility for taking care of a random little kid for the rest of her life. Thanks a lot, Dick. You just drop off a suitcase full of billions of won? Doesn't seem too safe to me. And maybe she should close the lid before yeah. it gets stolen. Now she's gonna think it's Sangwoo's money and will keep it for safekeeping and wait for him to come back. So in the end, Gi Hung took care of everyone, including his daughter, who he'll soon promise to visit and bring her a present because that's the kind of protagonist that we can all root for. So it looks like the subway is a favorite recruiting location for this dude. Are you telling me after all these years of Squid Game recruiting, None of the players ever mentioned their families that a handsome man in a suit roped them into some secret weird games by playing dachi with them in a subway station. And after they were all never seen from again, did none of the families report this little tidbit to the police who would have found tons of CCTV footage of the same dude slapping the shit out of hundreds of people who all disappeared shortly afterwards at the same time? Well, I guess this must be the series finale. He's going to fly to L.A. and forget all about these squid games so he can finally enjoy some quality time with his daughter since he just told her that he was on his way and has a present for her and they'll live happily ever after. Especially since the detective Junho is also definitely dead and there's no reason to continue on to another season. The end. Do you wish to participate in the game? 
Who's he talking to? Sounds like the front man. He really needs to stop leaning in and learn to delegate a little bit. I don't think the best use of his time is to answer incoming calls from potential players to onboard them. I'm a person. I guess he's going on a revenge tour, but did you really have to give them a heads up? I guess now he's got to go back to sang mom and ask for some money back so he can buy some hardware and go back to the island John Wick style and blow away some motherfuckers. I can't forgive you. People keep asking if I'm back, and I haven't really had an answer. But now, yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. <laughs>